Welcome to part 7. I'm Christo with 9 to 3 animation and in this scene we've got Dylan Systems working teapot with our own materials. In this part we'll change the projection from screen to triplanar and make the hatching adhere to our geometry. With the screen projection the hatching will appear to slide across any moving objects. And to show you what I mean I rendered out the sequence. Now at first changing to a triplanar projection might seem as a fairly straightforward thing to do by simply choosing it from the projection menu. And indeed that would only suffice if we were rendering a still. With animation however there is a caveat that the shading point P, which is used for the triplanar projection, uh, changes across the surface of any moving geometry. Uh, that will cause undesirable swimming. To deal with that we need to transform P into the local space of each moving object. And luckily that's easy enough with the PXR primvar node. But before we go ahead and set it up, let's look at the animation for a moment. So in total we have three objects which undergo different transformations at the same time. Quite obviously the two legs and the third one is the body, the lid and the pin all combined since they move together as a unit. Um, it's important to know that these transformations are happening on the OBJ level. Um, these are not SOP level point transformations and if they were, Pixar Primvar wouldn't help us at all. Uh, lastly the floor and the wall are static. Alright, so how do we transform the shading point P into the local spaces of each moving object? For that, we we'll have to modify our material setup a bit. We already have a material for the lid and the material for the rest of the body, including the legs. So let's reuse the body material. We can delete many of the nodes in here as we don't need any masks and the legs have no displacements. Ok, let's assign the materials and start the IPR. Ok, let's create the Pixar Primvar node. The variable is shading position, the type is point, and the coordinate system of um, object, which is the default, means that P will be transformed into the local space of the geometry node to which the material is applied. To see the result, we can wire result P into the input P triplanar of the stylized control pattern which will send the result over to the NPRP triplanar AOV. Let's do that for all materials except for the floor. Uh, for the floor we'll use the world coordinate system. Ok, so the very last step here is to finally tell the hatching filter to use the coordinates in NPRP triplanar. Let's switch to triplanar and type the AOV name instead of the default P. And voila! Our hatching adheres to the surfaces. I'll set a triplanar blending of 0 and a frequency of 8.5. Finally, let's play the whole sequence and see the hatching move together with our geometry. Alright, so in the next video we'll bring color back into the mix and add a second hatching layer. I'll see you there.